All right, so we're off to Rowdy's Wash to get the trucks all cleaned up. Uh, that way we're ready to go for the parade. Yeah. Show the, show the people your shirt. We're twinning. Ah, uh, he even smiled. Neutral. Beginning of the parade. We've got 11 cars, five Chevys, five Fords, and a Jeep. Uh, let me get this done, and then we got uh, something going on. Say hi to Rowdy. Hi, number 65. Beautiful day for a parade.
start. Yeah, that is sharp. That's because that's Franklin, Alyssa. Oh. <laughs> Look at the preschools! It's the preschools! Look at them, they're so tiny. Okay, now here we go. Here's the antique part. Yeah. This is what we're here for. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's Uncle Rowdy. Yeah, it's Rowdy and Jeff. Yeah. Rowdy! Rowdy! Oh, the Hell Camino! What? Don't stand in front of me. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're going to go ahead and get started. Welcome back. Glad to see everybody here. It's hard to believe it's been four years, four years since we did the last one. <laughs> so my name is Paul Simley. I'm a sergeant at arms at, with the American Legion, if you don't know me. I've only been in the Valley for about 20 years, and I really don't know a whole lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get started. The first thing we're going to do is advance the colors. Legionnaire. Advance the color. On a guard. Yeah. 
Our flag will stay at half mast until noon today. And now our Vela Daycare and Learning Center would like to do our Pledge of Allegiance for us. Please welcome our the two, three, four, and five people.
introduce Margaret Dell. She's going to give our invocation. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day and our wonderful country. We ask that you watch over us as we honor our fallen comrades who have given their lives so that we may be free. Please watch over our president and all the leaders of our government to be honest and fair in making new laws to serve us. This we ask in your son's name. Amen. Now let's welcome Sierra Dayak. She's going to read us Katie Burke address. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they brought they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead who take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and then that, that the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Abraham Lincoln, Gettysburg, November 19, 1863. We introduce Shelby Lohr, resigning Flanders Field. In Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the cr crosses row on row that mark our place, and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing, fly scarfs heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunsets glow. Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Fields. Take up our squirrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. I'm going to introduce our guest speaker for today, Air Force Colonel Donovan Serino. Colonel Serino began his military career as an enlisted medical service specialist, working in surgical and pediatric units. He was commissioned in 2001 through the ROTC program at Florida State University. Colonel Serino has served as a squadron, center, wing, as well as MAGECOM and combat command staff levels. He has been awarded Defense Meritorious Service Medal, Meritorious Service Medal, five Oak Leaf Clusters, an Army Commendation Medal, part of a Joint Service Operation, an Air Force Commendation Medal, two Oak Leaf Clusters. I'd like to introduce Colonel Donovan Serena. Thank you, 
everyone, please sit down if you are able and would like to. Paul, thanks so much for those kind words. I really appreciate it and the warm welcome this morning. <clears throat> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great day to be in Avella, PA and in Independence Township. I'm from Pennsylvania, so being here feels a lot like home. First, let me say thank you for allowing my family and me to be a part of the festivities here today and to help carry on the tradition of celebrating this important occasion. I'd also like to thank the organizers of today's events, and I very much appreciate it's the first one back since the pandemic. Days like this take considerable planning and effort to pull off. As a military family, it means a lot to us, and we are grateful to everyone who had a hand in making this a successful endeavor. A special thanks to my cousin, Kelly Gordon, who helped me make it possible to be here today, and also for demonstrating to me that distance and time do not matter when it comes to family bonds. Incidentally, Kelly is celebrating a birthday today, so wish her well if you see her. I know she's gonna love me for that public service announcement. <laughs> Finally, and most of all, to any Gold Star families, I am honored to be here today as we pay our respects as Americans to those who gave their lives for us all. For 155 years, our nation has set aside this day to pay solemn tribute to patriots who gave their last full measure of devotion for this country that we love. It is a time when we come together to honor these brave men and women and to be reminded of the profound sacrifices made in the name of freedom. It is a day that calls upon us to remember, reflect, and renew our commitment to the ideals that our fallen heroes fought so valiantly to protect. Today, across the country, we stand amidst the backdrop of flags waving proudly, or monuments built to honor the fallen. And we are reminded of the extraordinary courage and selflessness that define the armed forces.